This is a sermon about lying. But unlike most sermons about lying, it's not a sermon against lying. It's a sermon against saying that other people are lying. I think you should almost always resist the impulse to call people liars. Because for one thing, you rarely really know that someone is lying. To lie is to say something that's untrue with deliberate intent to deceive. And there's rarely proof that someone is deliberately, consciously trying to deceive. It's not like they say, I'm deliberately, consciously trying to deceive you, right? I mean, that would defeat the purpose. And remember, people are actually pretty good at unconsciously trying to deceive. In fact, the mind seems to have been designed by natural selection to not only sometimes deceive other people, but to deceive itself in the process, to believe its own lies, you might say. Except that, if it believes them, then technically they're not lies. That's my point. The other thing about calling people liars is it's usually counterproductive. I mean, take Donald Trump, for example. He says a lot of things that aren't true. He has a lot of followers who believe the things he says. And it would be nice to convince at least some of these followers that at least some of the things he's saying are not true. But if you start out by calling him a liar, they're not going to listen to anything else you say. And in fact, they may just rally around him because they'll see you as proof that he is being persecuted by whoever it is he's supposedly being persecuted by. The final reason not to call people liars is the sheer irony of it. I mean, again, you're rarely sure when you call someone a liar that what you're saying is true. And if it turns out not to be true, does that make you a liar? I rest my case.